DNC Travel Guide presents. Are you planning a Dubai adventure? Here's what you need to know. Welcome to the gateway of an unforgettable journey filled with shimmering skyscrapers, luxurious living, and vibrant cultures. We're about to embark on an exploration into the heart of the United Arab Emirates. From the best time to visit to local customs and must-see places, we're going to delve into everything that will make your Dubai experience truly phenomenal. So buckle up, the adventure is just getting started. Stay tuned for some essential tips that will help you plan your Dubai adventure like a pro. Firstly, knowing the best time to visit Dubai is crucial for your travel plans. Dubai experiences two main seasons, summer and winter. The summer months, from June to September, are incredibly hot, often reaching temperatures above 105 degrees Fahrenheit. For those who prefer cooler temperatures, it's best to avoid these months. Winter, from October to April, is the most pleasant time to visit. Temperatures range from 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, making it perfect for exploring the city's stunning architecture and beautiful beaches. However, it's also important to note that Dubai hosts the Dubai Shopping Festival in January and the Dubai Summer Surprises from June to August. These events draw large crowds, so if you're not a fan of crowds, you might want to plan your trip outside these periods. In the end, the best time to visit Dubai really depends on your personal preferences. So plan your trip according to your preference for weather and crowd. Next, let's talk about the dress code in Dubai. This vibrant city is a blend of modern life and traditional values. While Dubai is quite cosmopolitan and tolerant, it's important to remember that it is still an Islamic city. Dressing modestly is a way of expressing respect for the local culture. Generally, men should avoid wearing shorts and instead opt for long trousers. For women, it's recommended to wear clothes that cover your shoulders and knees. This doesn't mean you have to forego style for modesty, though. Light, breathable fabrics in vibrant colors are perfect for the warm climate and the city's lively energy. At the beach, regular swimwear is acceptable but avoid overly revealing options. In more traditional areas of the city or during Ramadan, it's a good idea to dress more conservatively. When packing, think light, loose, and respectful. Include a mix of casual and dressier options and remember to pack a light shawl or jacket for cooler evenings or more conservative venues. Remember, respect for local culture is a key part of any travel experience. Now, on to finances. Let's discuss currency and budgeting. In Dubai, the currency used is the United Arab Emirates dirham, often simply referred to as the dirham. One dirham is subdivided into 100 files. Coins come in denominations of 1, 5, 10, 25, and 50 fills, and one dirham. Paper notes come in denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500, and 1,000 dirhams. It's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. Credit and debit cards are widely accepted in Dubai, from the high-end luxury stores to the local markets. However, it's always a good idea to have some cash on hand for small purchases, tips, or in case of emergencies. When it comes to managing your money while traveling, budgeting is key. You can use a range of budgeting apps to keep track of your expenses. These apps can help you understand where your money is going, allowing you to make informed decisions about your spending. Now, let's move on to the daily expenses. The cost of living in Dubai is relatively high compared to other cities, but it still offers a range of options for every budget. For accommodations, you can find budget hotels starting from about 50 dirhams a night, while luxury hotels can go up to several thousand dirhams per night. When it comes to meals, you can enjoy delicious street food for around 10 to 15 dirhams, while a meal at a mid-range restaurant might cost you between 50 to 100 dirhams. And if you want to splurge on a high-end restaurant, be prepared to spend several hundred dirhams. Transportation is also a factor to consider. The city's public transportation system is efficient and affordable, with a single ride on the metro costing around 3 dirhams. Taxis, on the other hand, start at a base fare of 12 dirhams and then charge by the kilometer. Remember, these are rough estimates and actual costs can vary. It's always best to do some research and plan ahead to ensure you're prepared for the financial aspect of your trip. Budget wisely to make the most of your Dubai adventure. Understanding local customs and etiquette can make your trip smoother and more enjoyable. In the vibrant city of Dubai, it's essential to respect the local customs and traditions. Let's delve into some of the key customs you should be aware of. Firstly, tipping is customary in Dubai. It's not mandatory, but it is a nice way to show appreciation for good service. In restaurants, a tip of around 10 to 15% of the bill is standard. 
It's also common to tip taxi drivers, hotel staff, and other service workers. Next, let's talk about greetings. The traditional Emirati greeting is a handshake, often accompanied by a nose-to-nose -to -nose touch. However, it's important to remember that many Emiratis avoid physical contact with members of the opposite sex outside their family. So, if you're unsure, wait for the other person to extend their hand first. In terms of dining etiquette, it's considered polite to accept an offer of Arabic coffee or tea if you're a guest in someone's home. These beverages are served in small cups and are typically refilled unless you indicate you've had enough by shaking your cup gently from side to side. When eating, remember it's customary to use your right hand, as the left hand is traditionally considered unclean. Also, it's seen as respectful to accept an invitation to eat and try a bit of everything that's offered. It's worth noting that the UAE is a Muslim country, so during the holy month of Ramadan, eating, drinking, and smoking in public during daylight hours is prohibited. Be sure to respect this, even if you're not fasting. And finally, public displays of affection are generally frowned upon in Dubai. It's best to keep things conservative, especially in public places like malls and restaurants. By being mindful of these customs and etiquette, you're showing respect for the local culture. Not only does this foster a sense of understanding and appreciation, but it also enhances your overall travel experience. Being aware of local customs can greatly enhance your travel experience. Of course, a Dubai adventure would be incomplete without visiting its iconic landmarks. First on the list, we must mention the Burj Khalifa. This skyscraper is not only the tallest building in Dubai, but holds the record as the tallest structure in the world. Soaring an incredible 828 meters into the sky, the Burj Khalifa offers a breathtaking panoramic view of the city. Make sure to book tickets in advance for the observation deck, where you can witness the city's beauty from an entirely different perspective. Next up, we have the Palm Jumeirah, a marvel of modern engineering. This man-made island shaped like a palm tree is home to luxurious hotels, elegant residences, and world-class restaurants. A trip on the monorail gives you a complete view of this architectural wonder. You could also take a skydive over the palm for an adrenaline-pumping view of this iconic Dubai landmark. No Dubai adventure can be complete without a trip to the Dubai Mall. More than just a shopping destination, the Dubai Mall is an entertainment powerhouse. It houses an impressive aquarium, an indoor theme park, a giant ice rink, and a plethora of dining options. The shopping experience is unparalleled, with over 1,200 stores ranging from high-end designers to local boutiques. Don't forget to visit the Dubai Miracle Garden, a vibrant oasis featuring over 50 million flowers arranged in stunning displays. The garden changes every season, so there's always something new to see. And lastly, the Dubai Frame, a gigantic picture frame that offers a unique perspective of the city. From one side, you see the old city, and from the other, the modern skyline. It's a symbolic bridge between Dubai's past and its ambitious future. These iconic landmarks are sure to make your Dubai adventure unforgettable. And remember, these are just a handful of the must-visit places in a city that's constantly evolving and always surprising. So there you have it, essential tips for planning your Dubai adventure. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the best time to visit to understand the local customs and etiquette. Remember, timing is everything. A visit during the cooler months of October to April will provide a more comfortable experience allowing you to explore Dubai's wonders without the relentless heat. Dress code is another important aspect. Respect for local customs and traditions is key. Dress modestly, especially in public areas and religious sites. When it comes to currency and budgeting, the UAE dirham is your go-to, but don't worry, credit and debit cards are widely accepted. Dubai can be a pricey destination, so plan your budget wisely. Speaking of planning, local customs and etiquette are a crucial part of the experience. Embrace the local culture, respect their traditions, and remember, public displays of affection are generally frowned upon. And of course, the must-visit places. From the stunning Burj Khalifa to the enchanting souks, Dubai's sights are truly breathtaking. Planning your Dubai adventure may seem a bit overwhelming, but with these essential tips at your disposal, you're well on your way to creating an incredible travel experience. These tips aren't just guidelines, they're your keys to unlocking the best that Dubai has to offer. I hope these tips will prove helpful as you embark on your journey. Subscribe to our channel for more great travel ideas, safe travels, and enjoy your Dubai adventure.